Okay, but we're back with Fiona. We got her working on the coming when she's called. And then for everybody at home, you know, that's just starting out with the caller, we're going to just kind of go over some of the same things again. But remember, you guys, we are only calling them when they have their back turned. We are looking for the subtask of teaching the dog to turn and move back in our direction. So, because that's what's going to come in handy. You see these people making the dog sit, walking five feet away and calling it to me. That's the most inane thing. Fiona! Fiona! Good girl! We want to be able to turn the dog and move it back in our direction. So, got the sound box collar on, so remember the buzzing sound is the pager and the shorter chirping sound is the nick. We're mostly just using the pager at this point, but you may add the nick. If the dog kept going, you can tap, 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 tap with the nick. We're always going to use the pager first. You're always going to introduce the collar by virtue of the pager. Don't follow these rules where they say introduce, you know, start tapping, seeing what, what level the dog responds to. No, don't do that. So I'm just being real patient here. I'm going to wait until she's away from me and moving away. This dog is not ultra sensitive. You want to alternate your distance, you guys. You don't always want to do it when the dog's five feet away. You, know, you want to alternate your distance. You know, so the dog is used to coming from certain distances, and then you're going to sort of have a rule of thumb. You're not going to get too far away. So. right there you guys I went tap tap then I followed right through with the pager because if she would have kind of gone around those bushes it would have been harder for me to see what was going on. And remember you're looking thank you over or Lucy you're looking for a certain angle of the body away especially in these early stages so that we can get a complete turn out of the dog so if the dog's kind of at an odd angle don't do it. to increase the speed, you guys. What we don't want is a dog that just kind of comes walking to you slowly.
guys, right there, she didn't even think. She just reacted to the pager and the command, and that's what you want. So that's, we're getting where we need to be. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bass, you guys. I don't know why I didn't throw it in there before. No, I didn't throw it in there far enough, so I'll wait and see if one of them will go get it out and bring it back to me. You guys know I scream when I see stuff like that. show you guys too is you can use the collar for a silent recall and we don't talk about that that much because you know what we're really trying to do is get the dog to respond to verbal commands but you can use it as a silent recall by just hitting the pager because remember the pager and the command have become you know synonymous with each other so I'm just going to kind of show you that and, and you wouldn't want to do this all the time but sometimes I do it you know especially if you lived in a neighborhood at night or something and I, I do it at night when I'm just so exhausted to even give them a command. So really all you have to do for that is really just hit the pager. And I'm going to do it here on the little... No, no, I'm not doing it. Again, you're, want, you're waiting until they drop the back turn. I didn't say anything right there, but you saw I had the same response, and that's again, and we're going to talk more about this in, in some upcoming episodes, but that's what we call the muscle memory. The muscles are conditioned to react a certain way. So you don't want to do that all the time, but... But it is a little handy little thing that comes in when, you know, and, and you definitely don't want to do it in the beginning, but once they're conditioned... All right, let me do it on the little... Good girl. And then remember for the deaf dogs, that would kind of be, you know, that, that's why it would be so successful on deaf dogs because you could do just like that. They don't need to hear anything. You know, the muscle memory is just the reaction. All right, so let's just see if we can get her off one more time. And then... So remember, you're going to use your nick to increase the speed. If you've got one that's turning slow and coming slow with the pager, you're going to have to add your nick to increase your speed. Anyway, April, she's doing great, and more updates soon. See ya.